everyone. I'm Jensine Bard, and welcome to Testimony, where truth is told, lives are changed, and hope is given. Revelation 12:11 tells us that we overcome by the blood of the Lamb and the word of our testimony, a testimony of your story for His glory. It's a joy to bring back to testimony legendary actor, writer, producer, director, author, and conservative pundit Kevin Sorbo, whose wife Sam, the equally conservative author, actress, producer, writer, and radio host, are together making the case, and powerfully so, for faith-based films that truly do make a difference spiritually, practically, culturally, and well, in every way. Ladies and gentlemen, would you welcome back to Testimony, internationally acclaimed star of the iconic Hercules, The Legendary Journeys, star of the mega hit God's Not Dead, and Let There Be Light, and now with his latest, Miracle in East Texas, in collaboration with Academy Award-winning screenwriter and actor Dan Gordon and Lou Gossett Jr. respectively, the lovable John Ratzenberger of Cheers fame, and of course, the beautiful Sam Sorbo. Kevin Sorbo yet again hits the mark, or should we say, oil field. Here to explain this and more is its director, Kevin Sorbo. Kevin, welcome back to Testimony. Wow, what an intro. It's fantastic. Well, it's well <laughs> deserved, Kevin. It's always a joy bringing your voice to Testimony in support of your work. Since Hollywood is really giving the cold shoulder to films like yours that actually contribute to the well-being of our culture, God's Not Dead, What If, and Let There Be Light, just to name a few, your more recent collaborations, The Reliant and Bernie the Dolphin 2 on DVD, both speak to the issues of our day, and with your latest Miracle in East Texas, you share a different but equally impacting story. Can you explain? Miracle is a wonderful movie written by the amazing Dan Gordon. Dan Gordon is an Academy Award-nominated writer. He wrote the Hurricane script that Denzel Washington won the Best Actor Award in. He was also uh, wrote Wide Earp. He wrote 60 episodes of the Highway to Heaven TV series for Michael Landon, where he was a showrunner. Amazing guy. He wrote this script uh, years ago and just kept sort of tinkering with it and after we collaborated on Let There Be Light together, he brought it to me, fell in love with it. We were very fortunate to find the funding. It's so hard to raise money for these wonderful little independent films where Hollywood, you know, can throw out $300 million in an Avengers movie or a Spider-Man movie and spend another $100 million promoting it. We're just trying to find $2 million to fight and claw our way into theaters. It's such a wonderful script. It was inspired by a true story about two scoundrels that would uh, woo widows out of their money on fake oil wells. This was in 1929 and 1930, right in the heart of the, uh, the Depression. Their scam was always to sell 500% of the shares. And, of course, you can only have 100% of anything. So uh, they would declare a dry hole and move on to the next town. Well, they end up striking oil. It ends up being the largest oil find in the history of the world. True story. And enter a Lamar Hunt. And Lamar Hunt bought up all the worthless shares, was able to get these guys out of prison, by taking care of all their bills and everything. He paid back everybody who he cheated uh, with real stocks and real shares, and they all became very, very wealthy because of him. The movie's now been in all kinds of film festivals. It's won Best Romantic Comedy. It's won Best Fate Film. It's won Best Narrative Film, Judges' Favorite, Audience' Favorite. I love the fact that they can't pigeonhole this movie because people of faith will see this movie and go, wow, that was a wonderful Christian movie. People that have no Facebook go, no, that was just a really great movie dealing with the historical facts and truth, and uh, it was a comedy, and it was just entertaining. So I put it in the blind side category, where people of faith, once again, said it's a faith movie. Other people said, no, it's a sports movie. So I want the choir to support me all the time, but I don't want to just preach to the choir. I want people of, of all uh, faith and non-faith to come and enjoy this movie, because, you know, what are we supposed to do, right? We're supposed to harvest people. Show them the light of the Lord and show them that life doesn't have to be as miserable as, as, as we want to make it. I mean, you look at the stuff coming out of Hollywood. Everything's so negative. Everything's so filled with anger and hate and violence. And you're going, you know what? I, I like seeing movies that are filled with hope, redemption, 
love and uh, laughter. And yeah, there's tragedies that happen in our life, but there's a way that we can help to get through that as well. And uh, that's the movies we've been doing lately, and I think people have really responded to it. And you could tell from our last movie, Let There Be Light, which was a big hit. Amen and amen. Ladies and gentlemen, you're listening to award-winning actor and director Kevin Sorbo, his latest Miracle in East Texas. Kevin, how are you able to promote and fund what you are doing as a Christian in a Hollywood world? I'll tell you, Let There Be Light, and Miracle in East Texas, both of them are God things. I mean, the money never chases projects. You always have to go and try to find money. Well, uh, Sam wrote Let There Be Light. Dan Gordon helped polish off the script, had a wonderful rewrite of it. Once the script was done, I got a call out of the blue from, from Sean Hannity from Fox Cable. Now, I, I, I've met Sean a number of times. I've been on the show many times through the years. And he said, hey, I loved uh, God's Not Dead. I loved What If and Soul Surfer. Do you have something like that? And I said, I do. So we flew to New York, we pitched him, 30 minutes later he wrote a check. I mean, it was unbelievable. So that's how that movie happened. Uh, Miracle in East Texas uh, was a miracle because I was in Palm Springs speaking at an, at an event there and uh, we did a Q&A afterwards, Sam and I, and the people asked questions about, well, how do you get your movies funded? We told them, I said, it's the hardest thing to find $2 million to make a movie. Most of my movies are in the 2 to $5 million range. People might think that listening right now think, oh my gosh, that's a lot of money. That's nothing. Hollywood does $300 million movies. Two to $5 million, that's catering on those movies. This guy came up to me after I was, I was signing my book, uh, True Strength. I was signing my book afterwards. He comes up and he says, look, I have this much money. Can you make a movie out of it? And I went, my gosh, I can make a movie out of that. So <laughs> that's how that happened, you know. And here's the thing. I get stopped all the time through airports, through hotel lobbies. People say, we love your movies. Please make more. And I go, well, then please support them. I, I've got wonderful scripts. I get a wonderful crew. I get right. wonderful cast. You know better than anybody, we do great movies with a great message. And they're not cheesy. You know, they're good movies. Very professional. They're not the cheesy, quote, Christian-type movie that have been in the past. This is a whole new era for Christian filmmaking, and you're leading the charge, Kevin. I read somewhere, correct me if I'm wrong, that you've encountered pushback on Facebook and Twitter for your conservative and faith-based views. Is that true? Yeah, I mean, I, I just finished a documentary that I hope you and I can talk about this next spring when it comes out. And I did it with John Lennox. Uh, John Lennox is an apologist. He's a, a retired math professor from Oxford University. I spent two weeks in Israel and two weeks in Oxford with him. He has debated Dawkins and Hitchens, and he's met with Hawking. He's met with the greatest atheists of the world. And he basically destroys them in these debates with kindness and love and humor and scripture, and he's such an amazing man. And I posted on Facebook about four or five months ago the positive experience I had shooting in Israel. And because I posted that, they, they blocked me. And I, I just got back on Facebook about a week ago. It took me four or five months to get my Facebook page back. So wow. it, it's amazing. Uh, it, it's, in, it's so blatant nowadays. It's so obvious nowadays that the hypocrisy is actually uh, it's mind-boggling. And, and at the same time, it's not surprising because uh, they're the ones who scream for tolerance. They scream for freedom of speech. And yet they're the ones that have the least amount of tolerance. And freedom of speech is a one-way street, which is really unfortunate because I've got friends who have different points of view, different points of view on religion and politics. We have great debates, great fun, ribbing each other, kidding each other. And then we go out and play golf together and have a good time. So it's weird to me. I don't have this harbor, this anger and hate that people have just because they have a different point of view than I do. Amen and amen. Ladies and gentlemen, again, Kevin Sorbo, his latest miracle in East Texas. Kevin, tell us how the listener can come along and support your movie. What do they need to do? You know, right now, The Reliant just came out in DVD. We did a one-night event called The Fathom Event. We were in 750 screens. A Fathom Event is at least a way for uh, independent movies to get out in theaters at least for a day, at least have some exposure. They can go to thereliantmovie.com. It's been selling so well that Amazon and um, Target sold out, but they can pre-order it and still get it get it very quickly. But really, it comes down to just come out and supporting it. I mean, if they go to kevinsorbo.net, they can get all kinds of information. I have all kinds of DVDs. It's Christmas, right? So people can get they can get all kinds of autographed DVDs from me. My book, True Strength. My next book, True Faith, comes out February 14th on Valentine's Day. Wow. It's about uh, marriage and, and, and 
uh, just the positive world out there that faith can afford people in a, in a very negative world. And it's, um, it's autobiographical uh, together with Sam and myself. My last book, True Strength, was uh, written by me, but True Faith was a, was a co-effort by my wife and myself. And really, if anybody knows anybody who really wants to get involved in investing in movies, please get a hold of me at kevinsorbo.net. They can get a hold of me through the fan site there very easily or through LinkedIn. I'm on LinkedIn as well. But um, we're always looking for people. I've got wonderful scripts. And like I said, people stop me all the time. Well, then... Gosh, let's get these movies out there. Let's 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 get the culture back to where this country is founded in Judeo-Christian values, and we're turning into a very secular nation right now, filled with so much anger, as you see out there. I mean, like, what's going on in our public schools and our universities is appalling to me. Right. What keeps you going when hopes are dashed and dreams are delayed, or are they? You know what? I I've never let anything hold me back. I mean, I grew up. My dad was a school teacher. My mom was a nurse, but pretty much stay at home with five kids. Uh, and they instilled in both, all of the five of kids, hard work. I have a great work ethic. I'm a very strong-willed person. A lot of it comes from my faith. A lot of it comes from my parents as well. And um, I remember I used to caddy at this private country club. And we didn't have any money growing up. My dad was a school teacher, public school teacher. My clothes were hand-me-downs from my older brothers, you know. So, but I never felt without because my parents always pushed us to do, you know, good in school. We were all good athletes, uh, good students, uh, you know. And so... I, at this country club, I would ask these guys, how did you become, I was, I was there when I was 18, 19, 20 years old during the summers, and I said, how did you become successful? Every single one of them said I failed, and I failed again, and I failed some more, but I didn't let, I didn't let it stop me. So I learned very early in life not to let anything or anyone set limitations on me and what I can and can't do. And uh, a lot of people, um, the only thing to fear is fear itself, FDR said, right? And I think there's a lot of truth to that. People are afraid of failure, so they're afraid of even trying. And they end up being miserable in their relationships and their jobs and their life choices, whatever it may be. And I think that sort of spawns the hatred, you know. I mean, it's incredible uh, what I get on, you know, through Facebook and Twitter from people. And <laughs> I, 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 should be, I should be offended by it, but I kind of laugh at it. And I feel sorry for these people at the same time because I know these people are miserable in their own life. They're just miserable, and I think they're a hate and anger towards people they don't know. When really all it does is make them feel worse about themselves, because it doesn't affect my life at all. It's true. They need the Lord. Ladies and gentlemen, you have been listening to legendary actor, producer, writer, and director Kevin Sorbo. His latest must-see, Miracle in East Texas, with wife, actress, and co-producer Sam Sorbo. Together, they tell the unbelievable true story of a con game gone wrong and the Texas oil field and Miracle Gone Right. You can learn more about Kevin and Sam's work, ministry, and mission by visiting kevinsorbo.net and miracleineasttexas.com and get behind their latest inspiring and uplifting Miracle in East Texas. You will be genuinely entertained and blessed that you did. Kevin, thank you for taking precious time once again to inform our listeners of your latest projects, in particular, Miracle in East Texas, a great film for the entire family with messaging that encourages us all to, yes, believe in miracles and the power of redemption. We thank you, and God bless you. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Testimony is a global broadcast made possible by the generous contributions of our valued partners at Jensen Bard Ministries and you, our listening audience. Together, we are reaching souls for Christ, one testimony at a time. If you would like information on how you can support this broadcast with your tax-deductible gift, please visit us at jensenbard.com. That's one word, J-E-N-S-I-N-E-B-A-R-D dot com. And join the conversation at our Facebook page, Testimony with Jensen Bard. Thank you for listening, and please join us again for Testimony. Testimony.